And welcome back gamers, this is SKS with Let's Play Colonization. The boats have moved, but it's still the same game. And if I were a rubber raft, you'd fill me up next to a muddy river. Speaking of muddy rivers, we are sitting here still pestering the Dutch. Uh, they have created a new colony of Fort Nassau over here, and I'm sure that if I wanted to put forth the energy and go refresh my memory, I could figure out what it was or what number of a uh, colony that is for them but I really don't care so I'm not gonna pay much attention to it now I'm pretty sure that this boat here was the one that we ended the last video on and me being an idiot when I went to try to save the game and actually took it as a go-to function and moved it over now we gotta be careful the French look like they're wanting to come up there and start trouble like I said I don't really mind much about spam but it is making us money, and I don't think they have any guns or anything. So I want to be a little careful about that. I want to make sure the French leave me alone. And we have a new cargo of war ready. So this will probably be the last of the many videos that I've produced today. I've probably filmed for around four hours or so. Just trying to get everything going. And let's see, Fort Boob is losing money, at a, or not money, but... Uh, food at an alarming rate. So since he has a hundred ore, I'm going to pull him up here and have him make food for some time. Yes, yes, docs. So we'll put you right here. Alright. So that evens them up for a little bit. And they should be okay. Now I'm going to send my merchant man up the coast and get any external goods or excess goods they have. And pretty much trying to make some money off of that. That's why I got the merchant man. And yes, the sentry is here, so... Or not the sentry, but the sentry uh, unit. So, what I think I'll do is bring it up here and send it to... Let's see, well, the Indians have kind of calmed down a little bit. I think I will send it down here to near Spam so that they will start sending converts to me so that spam can grow and we can have Indians produce the food and then other people will be there for other things. Alright, so let's go down here and see what they got going on at Fort Nassau. They're obviously going to make money here, but we're going to stay right about here and just wait for them and hopefully still many nice things. Because now I need to start, I'm down to 67 gold, set tax percent 6%. I'm going to start trying to build up, I have enough people to do military, but I need to start building up my own force, especially my navy, to protect uh, my coastline, because I do have a pretty wide coastline up here, if you notice the mini-map. And the game is, there we go, the Indians broke my game. But we do need to calm the Indians down some. If I had a chance, I probably should jump on a Pocahontas or William Penn or somebody that comes through later that can help. Alright, we got a church at Fort Boo. Now we're producing two crosses. I think I will actually be... Let's do the warehouse expansion. And then I might actually start producing artillery and disperse them. Here's another church. We actually build a cathedral there, but we're not going to go there yet. A shipyard. That is what I want to work on. That is a big jump up from what I had, what I was thinking about making, but I think I'm going to do it anyway, just so I can start producing my own boats and build up my navy, which is what I was just exactly talking about just a second ago. Alright, we are in spam, so let's pick up this ore, and we will pick up these furs, we will put you back to silver mining. put him to work actually making something useful. We're still working on that warehouse, so we'll do that. Hopefully the price of silver has stayed up. We will send you back to London, England. And hopefully you'll get there faster than a lesbian. If you don't know what I'm talking about, 
Don't worry about it. Alright, so let's make landfall. And then we will send him back down here to pester the French. Excellent. Alright, so we will... I never really paid attention to see if this was all connected. But I do think, yes, there's a little land bridge here that connects them to us. Yeah, right up there, they've actually put a convert there, so they might be expanding. Or even have something down here. So, I might actually take my boat down here and take a look. And see what the Dutch are up to. I just kind of want to keep them away until I can build up my uh, colonies to where we can defend ourselves. Which I'm getting really close to that point. Now another thing you can do gamers, if you really want to keep the Indians on your side, is to actually trade with them with wagon trains from the very start. And they'll be a lot nicer towards you, but I didn't even go that route because I got involved in the war with the Dutch. But um... Let's see, the Iroquois are pleased to see that the prosperity of our neighbors, the English. We are concerned, however, that the colonies are beginning to overuse the lands near our settlements. Well, I think you're full of crap. With that being said, as I get a drink of water, they will probably stab me in the face as I build this road. Alright, Sons of Liberty membership is increasing. And we continue to send our scout up there. Privateers on his way down south. The French must have landed very far south to be away from everybody. Because I've still not yet figured out where they're at precisely. Unless they're actually on the Pacific Ocean. So that could actually be interesting if they are that far away. Alright, so we're going to go here and establish the missionary. The Church of Spam. <laughs> Oh, the Church of Spam, indeed. So we've established our first missionary. So let's go on up through here and find stuff that we can take to sell. We will grab their furs. Their horses are fine. Guns and stuff we don't touch. So let's continue on up to Fort Boob, and we'll do this on all four colonies that are on the ocean. French are moving a merchantman. I don't like where that merchantman was going. If they found found a colony up there, that's going to worry. Because I'd hate for them to anger me. But if they're down there in that lower part, I really don't care. It'd be kind of like Canada is to America, but they'd just be enough out of our business that we could uh, declare independence. All right, Fort Orange made a lumber mill, so that will increase our output. Now we should also do the blacksmith shop here to make them be able to survive on their own. They're one food short. They're still 18 turns away. Nothing to really worry about. All right. And we have a warehouse in New Pork, which is something we desperately needed. I thought I put go to colony, but obviously I'm an idiot. So I'll have to catch it next time. All right. We need you to go right here and attack this merchantman. Ah, but luckily it goes to I Hate France for Repairs and not back to London. So that's the start of our self-sufficiency, and here we see the Dutch colonists, but he's not really, there's not founded any settlements, so we might be looking okay there. Possibly should leave the French alone so they don't mess with us. This is the first game where I've not had to deal with them. They've actually come near my cities. They've not really picked at me. But still, they anger me to no return. We therefore demand 78 cigars from the colonies. I really don't care about cigars, so hand them over. There you go. Calm down. And they went back to green. Uh, we therefore demand we're not going to give you horses. Because then we have to fight them on horseback. They already have guns. We don't want dragoons. All right, let's take a free colonist. Sons of Liberty. Membership, and I hate France, is up to 20%. Excellent. 
I like. I want to see that number rise. Uh, rising in the colonies. Twenty percent of the population support the idea of independence from England. I like that now. Once it gets up to fifty percent, now that's when we'll seriously debate independence. But we've really, 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 really got to build up our military. Like every colony, pretty much needs to have a standing force with cannons and. It's a pretty big deal to declare independence, and I don't want to go into it and lose disastrously at the very end of the game. Now, sometimes countries will jump in and help you, but that all just depends. Alright, let's see if Fort Boob has anything that they can donate. You know, I'm just clearing out the crap here that's in the cities so that we can go sell it for stuff that's worth money. Alright, we'll send you up to Newport. Because you want all of your your colonies to actually be fortresses, and I suggest like four cannons at each one or artillery, just so you can have that defensive capability. Because you you normally want to let them attack you and wear themselves out. Now sometimes you'll get the you do get the attack bonus if you're out. So you want to hide some dragoon units out in the woods and attack them, and you get the ambush bonus that the Indians usually do. Just like in the real Revolutionary War, you know the territory, so it's a surprise for them. So that's something, you know, to attack them. They don't know the lay of the land, so you use that to your side. Excellent. Now go north and build me another road, sir. And we will have all of our colonies tied together, which will be awesome. This is something you must do if you're going to declare independence. I really do wish the Indians would calm down a little bit though. I don't like that group of Indians going around with muskets. And they... how did they attack my statesmen? Uh, and they killed my statesmen. I definitely need to put a standing military in Newport. The privateer has completed. Let's sell this. We made 370 and the price... ooh. 1700 excellent let's see what can we purchase I think I we can build our own artillery but I think I want to put some in that one place colonies let's make him a missionary as well and we'll send them back and I'll send them to New Pork and hopefully we can calm those Indians down with that. This is just kind of my, let's put a band-aid on the dam that is busted open, which is known as our Indian issue. Which, gamers, if you don't want to deal with the Indians in that aspect, you can always play as the French, and it calms them down. Alright, Spam has ran out of wood, so we'll send him back over here to cut lumber. I'm not going to buy that for them. I'm really hoping that some Indian cov converts come over. And we have a blacksmith shop at Fort Orange. And we are going to build a fort. Food is actually running low, so I'm going to cut... Hmm. We'll make the two food, but I need to get a pioneer up here and actually start plowing this area, this one right here, and maybe this... No, maybe plow one of them, but not both. So let's build the fort, and then we'll think about where to go from there. Alright, Fort Boob has the warehouse expansion. Gamers, I'm feeling great about this right now. Alright, let's build a newspaper. Wait, let's double check this. A wagon train. Uh, artillery, fur training post, schoolhouse. I'm tempted to do the schoolhouse, but I don't think we really need it. So let's do a newspaper. Alright, new porn is at 50%. They get a plus one to base population skills. Excellent. Here's some more fur. Here's some more tobacco. Uh, we've completed that, so... Wow, they're building stuff at a, a tremendous rate. Let's actually 
let's go ahead and upgrade to the fort there since they're building so fast. They get that plus one bonus, which is excellent. Hence that little green thing. So, yes, gamers, things are starting to look up. I think my strategies have paid off. As soon as I say that, though, you know, many things can happen. So let's go down here and check this coastline out. We go back up here and spy on the Dutch. Alright, we'll put a road here, connect, and then we will continue to send this boat up here to Fort Orange and see if they have anything extra to sell. I know you like that, gamers. That's my happy-go-lucky song. Uh, now, there's some strategies in this game that I'll cover real quick where people just build little one-person cities just to mine silver in a place, or mine ore, and they ship it to all their other places. Oh, I knew porn went down to 49%. I don't know how that can happen, but it did. Seems like everything's on auto right now. Alright, well, we're coming to the end of this session, gamers, so hopefully I'll see you next time for Let's Play Colonization. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And this is SKS signing off. Good night, and we'll see you next time.